WWF fans, Rick Diesel here, and this week I have got my bathrobe on, I have got my official Dr. Pepper sleep pants on, I figure that if you watch me at midnight, I'm going to dress this week just like you do. So welcome to Casual Fridays on AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. AIWF! 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 Alright fans, welcome back to AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. I am your host Rick Diesel and this week we are going to do some recapping from season's beatings in Mount Airy, North Carolina. A lot of big stuff happened at the Mount Airy National Guard Armory on December the 18th and we're going to go back and take a look at some of it today. Plus, in our main event this week, we've got Lewis Moore defending the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight title against the big man Scotty Blaze. But first off, we're going to go back to Mount Airy, North Carolina on December the 18th when Kevin Stryker was facing, well, you know, here's the thing. Kevin Stryker was facing a man they called the terrorist, but it wasn't the same terrorist that he faced in Ashboro. It wasn't the Sheik that he faced in Lexington, and it wasn't the, the man in the mask who attacked him during the match with the Sheik in Lexington. However, during the match with this terrorist, yet another man in a mask from out of the back comes and hits Kevin Stryker once again with a chair. I'll tell you what, we're going to go back and take a look at what happened at the end of that match when Kevin Stryker got a, involved in another terrorist attack. I just want to take a minute to tell you about the next big AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling TV taping and it's coming to the Eden Event Center in Eden, North Carolina on January the 7th. That's a Friday night. I already booked on the card. Number one, George South is going to be facing off with Buddy Landale, the Nature Boy. Also on the card, Lodi from the WCW and former WCW star, the Maestro, now called the Stroke. All those guys are going to be at the Eden Event Center on January the 7th. We'll tell you more about that in the weeks to come. But now, let's go back to Mount Airy, North Carolina on December the 18th, the final leg of season's beatings when Paco Loco and Corey Duncan faced off with AAA JD and Jackie Anderson. Now you remember in Lexington, Paco Loco and Corey Duncan defeated Dice and JD Anderson. I get them confused. All these guys from Tennessee, they all look alike. J Dice, JD Anderson in Lexington when they pinned Dice, but the titles were taken away from Paco and Corey. But on December the 18th in Mount Airy, both members of AAA, JD and Jackie Anderson, were there and the match did happen and Paco Loco and Corey Duncan became the brand new AIWF World Tag Team Champions. Let's go right now and take a look at how that happened.
program, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to remind you that on January the 15th, AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling will be returning to Pelham, North Carolina for Pure Pro Wrestling at the Pelham Community Center. Already signed on that card, we'll have the Rock and Roll Express Ricky Morton as he will be making his return to Pelham that night on January 15th. What will happen when Ricky Morton is in the building with the Old School Mafia where the whole Ricky Morton Old School Mafia feud began? But speaking of Ricky Morton, on December the 18th, if you'll remember, it was Ricky Morton and Jersey Kid set to square off against Lewis Moore and Matt Houston of the Old School Mafia. Well, Lewis Moore, due to the weather, could not make it. But he, he did have a replacement as Justin Flash returned to Mount Airy to team up with Matt Houston to take on Ricky Morton and Jersey Kid. Now, many of you may know that uh, Justin Flash has been doing a lot of talking on the AIWF message board about Ricky Morton. Well, let me tell you, that match was wild. It was great, and the fans loved it. But it's what happened after the match. It was the confrontation between Ricky Morton and Justin Flash after the match that got everybody stirred up. Let's go take a look at that. seen our last segment, Ricky Morton versus Justin Flash. It's going to happen on January the 22nd when the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling returns to the Mount Airy National Guard Armory. Uh, like they said, Ricky Morton all over the building. Anything goes, no disqualification. Justin Flash and Ricky Morton. That one ought to be interesting. But for now, we're going back to the Mount Airy National Guard Armory for Jimmy Love versus Sweet Daddy. Seasons beatings, final leg, AIWF World Heavyweight title on the line. Jimmy Love looking for his fourth AIWF title reign. Let's go take a look at how that match ended right now. This night is going to go down in history. December the 18th, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Handsome Jimmy Love, four-time AIWF World Heavyweight Champion. Everybody saw it in Mount Airy and everybody's going to see it on DVD. I got the strap right back where it belongs. I'm the guy that's going to take this company to the next level. I'm the face of the AIWF. I'm the body. I'm the man. You understand me? And tonight, a special night, a special treat. I beat Sweet Daddy in his own town. And not only that, I retired him. Sweet Daddy makes the announcement. He's taking it on to the house and he ain't coming back. Well, good thing, Sweet Daddy. Good thing. Because if you come back, I'm going to break your leg. I'll break your neck. I'll break your arm. Old school mafia 
will be gunning for you if you stick your head back in any building we're in in the near future or out far in the future. It don't matter. I want the people watching this to understand I want this up on every website that's affiliated with AIWF. I want it on YouTube. I'll have it on my personal website. I'm making a challenge right now. Mm. A little juice. A little something to quench the thirst. <laughs> you see, I never give up. I never get tired. You look at that belt right there. That is the World Heavyweight Championship. The only World Heavyweight Championship on the independent circuit. The only one that can lay a legitimate claim to being a world title. And it's right here, strapped around the best independent wrestler in the business today. <laughs> you take a look in my eyes. I'm laying a challenge out right now. Anybody calling themselves a champion, you come jump on this. I'll stretch you out just like I did Sweet Daddy tonight in Mount Airy. Kevin Stryker, I got your woman. <laughs> I got your pride. And if you get in my face, I'm going to whip your ass. You understand me? This ain't no joke, Jack. I'm taking your woman right down to the Starlight Motel tonight because, quite frankly, she knows it and I know it. She ain't good enough to be going over to the Marriott. Kevin Stryker, you ain't good enough to be in a ring with Handsome Jimmy. So don't you get no big ideas. Don't you get it in your head that you want to come gunning for me because I got bigger fish on my plate. You understand me? And I know I'm going long. I know that I'm going long. I get a little long-winded sometimes. But you sit down and shut your mouth. I'll talk as long as I want to. Because I'm the new world champion. Like I said, put it out there on all media. Look in my face. I will be on the TV. I'm going to be on the radio. Handsome Jimmy is going to be bigger than life in 2011. And so is the AIWF and the AIWF World Heavyweight Championship. And that's a guarantee. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. We're, sitting, we're here in Paul, North Carolina. I am Rick Diesel sitting in the big chair calling the shots for you. As Lewis Moore, the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Champion, puts his title on the line against that big man right there, Scotty Blaze. I doubt that. Many of you may know Scotty Blaze is famous for his hard, pounding chops. We've got bail, we're underway. Bruce Moore's a little hesitant to lock up with Scotty Blaze. I'm not sure I blame him. Oh! Scotty Blaze threatening that chop already. Alright, we have a lockup, ladies and gentlemen. Scotty Blaze back in Lewis Moore into the corner. Setting up for that chop again. Lewis Moore outside the ropes to counteract. That's pretty much the only way you can counteract that chop. You can't block it. We have a great crowd here in Pelham once again. We always count on the Pelham fans to come out of full strength. Who's more of a headlock on Scotty Blaze? Blaze with Lewis Moore up on the top turnbuckle. One thing Moore don't want to do, Lewis don't want to get in no fist fight with Scotty Blaze. He's got to be a smart, he's got to be a thinking man for us around this match. Blue is the new black in wrestling.
Smile for the kill. Ah! Oh! Smack in the face from Lewis Morton, Scotty Blaze. Oh, and another one. More back and blaze into the ropes. Oh, I tried to shoot him off, but no. Scotty Blaze got that headlock clamped in tight. He locked it down on Lewis Moore. You know, ladies and gentlemen, 2011 is coming up. You don't want to miss all the great AIWF Mid-Atlantic action in your area in 2011. Already signed up for, for shows in January. January the 7th at the Eden Event Center in Eden, North Carolina. AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling making a stop in Eden. Then on January 15th, back here in Pelham, as Pure Pro presents AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Then on January 22nd, AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling returns for the Mount Airy National Guard Armory. With our main event, Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express taking on the returning Justin Flash in a no disqualification match. Ricky Morton taking on Justin Flash. No DQ, anything goes. Scotty Blaze got Lewis Moore. There's that hard chop. Oh my God. Referee count Scotty Blaze off. Don't forget the Eden Event Center as e EAW presents Mid Atlantic. They had to be at Mid Atlantic Wrestling at the Eden Event Center at the Eden Mall in Eden, North Carolina on Friday night, January the 7th. Be there for this great card as George South takes on the nature boy, Buddy Landale. Will Buddy Landale show up this time? Well, he says he will. Be there to find out. Also, the Stro, my formerly known as the Maestro from Mid Atlanta from the uh, World Hunt Championship Wrestling, WCW, back in the day. And former WCW star Lodi also on the card on Friday night, January the 7th at the Eden Event Center at the Eden Mall. Bruce Moore got Scotty Blaze in a. Oh, Scotty Blaze with a nice arm drag. That's Lewis Moore down on the mat. A little wrestling there going on. Where'd that come from? It looks like the big man. Oh, Scotty Blaze twisted those fingers of Lewis Moore. Putting the pressure on that arm bar. Or that's sorry, the hammer lock. Who wrote that script? <laughs> Scotty Blaze hanging on to that hammer lock on Lewis Moore. He's got Lewis Moore tied up in all grades and knots. Break it! Blaze working that arm on Lewis Moore, that left arm. Putting pressure on that arm, cutting off the circulation, keeping the blood from flowing up and down that arm. Oh, hard smack right up under the armpit of Lewis Moore. Lewis Moore's curled up like a fetus. He's going to have to figure something out with Scotty Blaze. He's going to keep that AWF Mid Atlantic heavyweight title around that waist. Trying for a body slam, trying to get out of that arm bar from Scotty Blaze. Blaze with a hard smack across the back and a big body slam. Up for another one. Hard down for those Lewis Moore. Oh, referee. Oh, easy, Lewis. Lewis Moore over the top rope, out to the floor here at the Pell Community Center. This crowd loves that. Hey, Lewis Morse. Oh, hard chop on the back of Lewis Morse. 
Yeah. You can see the handprints on his side for where Scotty plays is just smacking him. Scotty Blaze is smacking Lewis Moore around like a three dollar prostitute. Kevin Williams getting out of the way. I don't blame him. Oh! Woo! Oh! That'll slow him down. Scotty Blaze got that clothesline on Lewis Moore. Lewis Duck, Scotty Blaze hits that repost with his arm. That's going to cause a bruise. That'll slow Scotty Blaze down. Two count only as Lewis Moore tries to pin the big man. That's what Lewis Moore's going to have to do right there, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to keep this big man down. He's going to have to keep him off his feet. You know, Scotty Blaze gets a chance once again, Lewis Moore going to work. Going to work on that now. Oh, that I'm taking that knee pad down so he can get the brunt of the, the, the knee cap, the hard knee cap from that knee into the back of the uh, Scotty Blaze's arm. Oh, that's a kick. Oh, and a hard chop. Scotty Blaze still got that right arm. You can tell he's holding that left arm up to his side. That thing is, is probably in bad shape. Lewis Moore's pounded on that left arm. It's got to be bruised. But that's the chopping hand right there. That right hand, that hard overhand chop from Scotty Blaze. Scotty Blaze trying to do a, a reversal there, but Lewis Moore caught it. Whoa, nice move from out of nowhere on Scotty Boy from Scotty Blaze on Lewis Moore. Well, Scotty still got to contend with that damaged left arm of his. Once again, Lewis Moore right back to that arm. Referee flying through the air. chin lock now. He's already cut the blood circulation off that left arm. Now he's going to cut it off to, to the head completely. You know, many of you may remember Scotty Blaze from several years back when he was in Elkin, North Carolina, teaming with Stephen Hayes at Deer the Steel. Two men who had, for years had a rivalry, but that one night, they came together. This crowd's chanting Scotty's name, trying to get him back motivated. Get some circulation back in that left arm, and that's a good thing, because that was the arm the referee was raising. You can tell that left arm still got some weakness to it. Blaze working his way back up. Oh, nice and punch. Punch Lewis Moore's stomach. No good. Scotty Blaze trying to make a comeback with Lewis Moore with a quick knee to the midsection. Brought Blaze right back down to the mat. Lewis back into the ropes. High knee across the chest. 
count, aren't we? Now Lewis Moore resorting to a choke. You can always count on a good choke from Lewis Moore. Let's get more right back to that left arm, that weakened left arm of Scotty Blaze. Hope you get the ice packs ready backstage because Scotty Blaze is going to need it for the bruises and contusions he probably has on that arm. Lewis Moore to rake across the face of those shoelaces. Had that done before, it's no pleasant feeling, that's for sure. Get him off the ropes, now. Come on, get him off there. Hey, ref, come here. I'm trying to Lewis Moore distracted the referee as Kevin Williams goes in to do what he does best, cheat like a SOB. Oh, hard shot from Scotty Blaze. And another. Looks like Scotty Blaze trying to make a comeback here, ladies and gentlemen. But no, Lewis Moore. That... The punishment is Blaze is tough on that left arm and just all around from Lewis Moore is really got the big man reeling. Oh, a nice move from Scotty Blaze from out of nowhere. Hard right hand. Scotty Blaze still holding that left arm up against his body, trying to protect it. Oh, he's got Lewis up. Airplane spin. Round and round she goes. That arm's still coming, becoming a factor for Scotty Blaze. He had Lewis Moore up on airplane spin, but just could not hold it. Oh, Kevin Williams into the ring. Oh, Scotty Blaze with a punch on but Kevin Williams. But Lewis Moore pulling something look like out of the tights and hit Scotty Blaze with it. Two, three. Lewis Moore has defeated Scotty Blaze to retain the AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight title. You can see Lewis Moore now pulling with something in his tights. It's obvious he used, very obvious that he used a foreign object. That's right, Bill Watts. I'll call it a foreign object. Shut up. There he is, still your AIWF Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. One half of the Mid-Atlantic Outlaws, Lewis Moore. This week, ladies and gentlemen, next week on the program, we're going to hear from Ricky Morton and Justin Flash about that big match they got coming up on January the 22nd at the Mountain National Guard Armory. We'll also cover more about the AIWF wrestling as EA presents EAW at the Eden Event Center in Eden, North Carolina. We're going to cover all of that and more next week right here on AIWF Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. We'll see you then.